Hello, welcome to this video about navigating the clinicaltrials.gov website. Clinicaltrials.gov is a website run by the American National Library of Medicine that lists information on clinical studies sponsored by the National Institutes of Health, other federal agencies, or private industry. The purpose of this website is to be a public database for people to find out information about clinical trials. If you have ever visited this website before, you may notice it looks a bit different now. Don't worry, the same information is here, just in a slightly different place. If it is your first time here, welcome. We'll be going over how to find information about ataxia clinical trials. When you first get to the website, you will find several ways to search for clinical trial information. You can find out about clinical studies for all types of disorders taking place all around the world. Since there is a lot of information out there, it can be helpful to filter your search using different factors. For example, you can limit your search to ataxia clinical trials by entering ataxia into the conditions or disease section. The website will give you suggestions as you type. If you are interested in trials for a specific type of ataxia, you can enter the name here as well. You can click the blue X in the right hand side of the text box to clear it. The other terms box can be used to narrow down a search even further. For example, if you know the number or name of a clinical trial, or the name of the lead researcher or industry sponsor, you can enter it here. If you're interested in trials for a specific type of treatment or research methods, you can search for trials focusing on these methods using the intervention slash treatments function. You can also search by location if you're interested in clinical trials based in a specific geographic region. The last option for basic search function is study status. Here, you can tell the website to give you information on all studies, including ones that have finished or are no longer recruiting participants, or clinical studies that are currently recruiting or will be recruiting participants in the future. There is also more advanced search options, which we'll be covering in another video. For our example today, let's search for an ataxia clinical trial that involves MRI, has trial sites located in the United States, and is currently recruiting participants. We got eight results from our search. You can adjust your search terms or redo the search using the panel on the left. It has the same features as the home screen. On the search results page, you can see some basic information about each study. This includes the study status, in this case, actively recruiting, the study number, the conditions it's focusing on, a few of the study locations, and the name of the study. This card view is one way to look at information. You can also click the table view button to see the same information in a different format. You can download this information for your records by selecting the studies you're interested in and clicking download. Next, let's click on the name of the study to learn more. There is a lot of information on a study details page and it can be a bit overwhelming. Let's go over the sections and learn what they tell you about a study. The study overview section is a good place to start as it will give you a brief summary of what the study is about plus a more detailed description if you're interested in learning more. You'll also find some repeated information from the preview, such as the conditions being studied and the interventions involved. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll find key information about the study, such as the timeline for recruitment, how many people they are recruiting, and the study type. If you aren't sure what a word means, click the blue information circle next to it, and you can get an explanation. Next, in the contact and location section, you can find out more about who to contact for more information, as well as the location of the study sites. As you can see in this example, this study has three study locations, two that are recruiting participants and one that isn't recruiting yet. Studies listed in clinicaltrials.gov are maintained by the study sponsor and may not always be kept up to date. If you'd like to learn more about the status of a study or are interested in participating, you should reach out to the contacts provided in this section. Next, we have the participation criteria section where a detailed description of who can participate in the clinical study is listed. On the right-hand side, you'll see some basic requirements, such as the age you need to be to participate, if there are restrictions based on biological sex, and if healthy volunteers can also participate. In the main text, there'll be a detailed description of inclusion and exclusion criteria. Inclusion criteria are a list of characteristics that someone must have in order to be eligible to participate. Exclusion criteria are a list of characteristics that would make someone ineligible or not able to participate. You will want to read over these criteria carefully to determine if you are eligible to participate in a trial before reaching out to the study contact. Next up, we have the study plan section. Here, you can find even more details about how the study is designed, 
what participants will be asked to do, and what measurements the researchers will be making. This will be similar information to the brief summary and detailed description in the study overview, but there will be far more details in this section. In the next section, you can find information about the people and organizations involved in this study. This includes the organizations that sponsors or leads the study, as well as collaborating organizations. You will also find the names of the researchers leading the study and what organizations they are affiliated with. Next, there is a section on scientific publications related to the study. This section is voluntary to fill out, so sometimes you will see multiple papers, and sometimes you might not see any. If there is an entry here, you will find research information relating to the study background, study design, or study outcomes. The second to last section is about study record dates. This is a list of key dates for when the entry for the study was modified. This information can give you a clue about how up-to-date an entry is. The final section on this page is other relevant information to the study. This includes a list of keywords related to the study. This helps people find the study when they're using search functions, uh, whether the study will be sharing individual data or only sharing group data as a way to protect privacy, and other information relating to uh, what is being examined in the study. If you would like to see the same information, but formatted into tables, you can access this by clicking Table View. Next to the Table View tab is the Results tab. This study is still ongoing, so it doesn't have results posted yet, but when they are available, they will be shared here. The last tab here is called Record History, where you can see a list of changes that were made to the Study Details page and when they were completed. And that is how to find out information about an ataxia clinical study using clinicaltrials.gov. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. On one final note, before joining a study, please talk to a healthcare professional about the possible risks and benefits. The information you find on clinicaltrials.gov should be the start of a conversation not the end of one.